What's going on, YouTube? My Ty with the Dividend Stock King. Welcome back to my channel. And this video will tell you about my dividends and up to my dividend income. Now, before I begin, I'm not giving no financial advice. I'm not giving no financial. Uh, tell me with your money. I'm not a financial expert, financial stock expert. Buy at your own risk. So, this is my dividends coming up. And we'll look at a little bit last month. I did a video about half of July, but let's just go through so AT&T between $5.63 and, cents. and uh, I sold some of my share because it cut a dividend but uh when we do that $5.63 I'm going to have I'm going to turn on dividend reinvestment on and I'm going to put that five dollars right back into the stock so it'll keep paying itself and it'll keep on making more money Orchard Island Capital pay me $16.32 and I own 251 shares. I think I had 280 right now. So I get $16.32. I'm going to put that whole $16.32 right back into the stock. Right now, the current price is like $5 and change. So I could possibly get almost three shares, but I probably get at least two shares and a, you know, uh, almost three shares. So I'm putting that right back to the stock. Uh, Prospect Capital. Uh, five dollars and forty cents. It's a monthly payer. It's been paying consistently. I had ninety shares. I haven't bought any more, but I will probably take that five dollars and forty cents and put that right back into the stock. Or what I could do is I want Orchard Line Capital to make me fifty dollars a month. Uh, I want to get that to a fifty dollar mark, and after that, I will I will buy it very slowly. So when I get paid that fifty dollar dividend. What I like to do is uh, buy three, four shares and put the rest of the money into different stocks. So what I could do with private capital, either two things. I could take that five dollars forty cent, put it right back in private capital, or buy me a share of Orchardland Capital. Don't know yet, but I probably put it back in uh, Prospect Capital. Horizon will pay me eleven dollars and fifty cents in three days now. What I do with that is I will. Uh, the stock price is like seventeen dollars, so I'll throw in ten. I'll, 10 bucks from my account and that will buy me a share of, of Horizon and the rest of the money will go toward Orchard Land Capital. Uh, realty Income will pay me $1.41. I got dividend reinvestment on, on this company so that dollar for the one go right back to the company and next month I might make another cent. Main Street Capital pay me $12.50. And what I'm gonna do with that money is uh, the stock price right now is like $41, $42. So I got dividend reinvestment on it. It doesn't make sense for me to do that. It pays me $20. And uh, what I could do is put it right back into the stock. And next month, uh, well, it will buy me half of a share. And uh, it pays 20 cents for a full share. So I should get 10 cents. So next month, I could pay $20.60. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put that, the same dividend right back to the stock, and that should be a full share. So every two months, it's going to buy itself a whole new share, which is pretty cool. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't, I mean, do anything. AGC paid me yesterday thirteen dollars and twenty cents. I added, uh, I think thirty dollars to my Robinhood, and I bought two shares, and I bought other things as well. So I bought two shares of AGC today. And next month the payment should be higher. But you see how I'm doing, right? I'm not expending a lot of money. Uh, I'm taking my dividends. I'm reinvesting. I'm reinvesting them. I'm adding ten dollars here, twenty dollars here. They get the full share, and then I'm reinvesting the dividends. I'm taking a, you know something that'll give me eleven dollars, adding eight nine bucks to it, and give me a full share. So I get the full dividend. Well, that's what I'm doing now. You see. Once you start doing this for a year, two years, you can start getting some serious money, and you can start. You know, at this point now, I had I could have sit for like ten years. I could put dividend reinvestment on all my stocks. Don't gotta buy any more shares, and let these things just buy itself. Cause her Horizon paid me eleven dollars and fifty cents. The stock price is seventeen dollars. So in August. I'm gonna get another eleven dollars and sixty cent, and I'll buy a full share of itself. So every other month, it will buy a share of itself. Uh, so it's a, a great thing. Um, this is uh, this is um, recent. 
in July. I got 86 cents from Altria. When you start getting these 86 cents and 40 cents, you really can't even pull them out of Robin Hood. Why would you pull 86 cents out? I have no clue. Uh, and you can't just put 86 cents into a stock. So you might as well just have dividend reinvested, give back to the company, and get maybe 87 cents next month. Next time I get paid, uh, JP Morgan, I got a 40 cent. I reinvested back to the company. Sons gave me 10 cent. I should have had a dividend reinvestment on that, but I didn't. But I have it on now. Same with DS Capital. Next time I'll have a, I will have a dividend reinvestment on there as well. And with the North, the Cornerstone, the two Cornerstones you see here, the $8. And 61 sit to 925 and 9252. Those three stocks could no longer buy onto Robinhood. So I all I do is take them dividends and buy different stocks. I buy Orchard, I might buy AG and C, I buy something else. I could sell them, but I said, you know what? They're monthly. Why well, get rid of them? They pay me monthly for doing nothing. I can just use the money. I can use the money if I want. If I need them, I can use the money myself. But I'm gonna use the money just to buy more assets. So, uh, 13 cents here, which I reinvested, uh, and I got paid $31 for Armor REIT. I'm trying to get this at $50 a month, but I had 315 shares, and I'm right now I have 350 shares. So I got paid a $31 dividend. So. You know that's a lot of money, and uh, you know that's a lot of money. So you see, I'm at a point where I do have all my all my stuff that's ripped down, and I had to buy no more. Really, had to buy no more stocks. Imagine if you were 18 years old. Imagine you were 20 years old with a portfolio with my size, and you're making 20, 30 dollars per stock. You just turn the you don't gotta buy no more stocks. You just turn your dividend reinvestment on and let it buy itself. And give it to 10, 15 years. I mean, there's a lot of, so you just think about it. So the name of the game is the, the sooner you start, the better. With dividend investing, it will show you that, A, you need to make more money. Okay, so if I start buying dividend stocks, oh man, I like the money coming in. I want to buy more. I gotta make more money. So I started doing more Uber and more Uber and we're gonna a little later and later. I was up on two in the morning and I got up on two thirty. I about got up two forty five now at three o'clock. To do a cut more rise, to squeeze out the twenty, thirty more dollars, so I can buy more stocks. Um now you see why I'm on the Uber. I'm on to, you know, cutting grass on the side. Some side hustles. Uh you know, to buy more asset. This is passive income. I don't have to work for this money. All I gotta do is hold, and that's it. I don't gotta, I don't gotta do any work, nothing. So that's the end of my video, man. This is what I'm doing right now. You know, 350 shares, and I'll, I'm sorry, 352 right now, and 500 shares give you fifty dollars a month. A uh, thousand shares will get you a hundred dollars a month. You know, they pay ten cents a month, and the price is cheap now compared to I was buying it two months a month ago. I was paying twelve dollars twenty cents a share, and that's eleven dollars twenty five cents a share. So it's a dollar cheaper now. So I don't look for growth for the AR. Just pay my dividend. That's it. Pay my dividend, and that's it. I'll be out your way. Um, so thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please like the video, share the video, and I'll see you next time.